तुझको या तेरे नदीश गिरिवन को नमन किसको नमन करूं मैं भारत किसको नमन करूं मैं नमन करूं मैं नमन करूं मैं नमन करूं Water is the basic requirement of all plants and animals. Without water, everything in this world would become barren. Because of this only, the proverb Jalmev Jeevanam meaning water in itself is life is popular everywhere in our country. The earth element has manifested from water only. That is why all the divine medicaments are said to be present in water in the casual form. It is the contention of Vedas that Apsu Antaha Vishwani Bheshajaha Apo Hi Ugraha Bheshajaha meaning all medicaments are in water, water has great medicinal quality. 70% of earth is covered with water, 95% of which is in the form of the great oceans that is not drinkable because of being saline in nature. 4% of water is solidified as ice in the two poles of earth and only 1% of water is available in the form of aquifers, rivers and lakes. The Himalayas serve as the life giver of India by being the source of origin of rivers like Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Sarayu, Sindhu, Jhelam, Vyas and Brahmaputra. In the waters of these rivers, the medicinal attributes of Himalaya get mixed through the many streams arising out of the many small falls. Before they get contaminated in the plains, the waters of Ganga, Jamuna and other rivers at source sites like Gangotri, Yamunotri and such other are so pure and health promoting that if anyone gets the fortune to drink the water from these places every day, it is likely that they would never have to take any medicine in their lifetime. The stream of water issuing out from Gaumukh is known as Bhagirathi. The one arising from Badrinath is Alaknanda and the one that comes out from Kedarnath is Mandakini. Going ahead, all the three streams meet together to take shape as Ganga. The water of Gangotri is probably world's purest and holiest water which by the time it passes through Kanpur, Varanasi, Patna and Bhagalpur becomes so dirty that it becomes difficult to believe it is the same Ganga that is resident within the stoop of Brahma, is sportive in the tresses of Shiv and the one that flows out from the feet of Vishnu according to mythological belief. Is it the same Ganga in which after one takes dip, wishes his or her ashes be immersed? Every wave of Ganga is wailing out this anguish. My sons of the Aryan land, my abode was in the snow-laden peaks of the Himalayas, the place of manifestation of first humans. But the penance of Bhagirath forced me to live my abode and come down through the Shivalik hills 
passing through Haridwar and end up in the ocean, irrigating the entire Aryan land on my way. I knew the history of the entire Aryan land from that time itself. I have witnessed lakhs of yogis, great seers and saints wandering around and undertaking meditational trance on my banks. I have watched Emperor Bharat perform Ashwamedh Yajya after conquering the world. The invincible warrior of Mahabharat, Bhishma, had learned the art of archery playing on my lap. Even the epitome of virtues, Ram, had reached the forest only after crossing me. After winning entire North and Northwest India, Emperor Chandragupta had taken rest at my bank only. Buddha, Kabir and Dayanan had spread enlightening knowledge on my banks only. I have also witnessed the foreign invaders whose cruelty had kept the land of India bloodied. Dear sons, I had kept irrigating this land with my elixir like water so that you may not have any shortage of grains or water. No doubt, you do offer ceremonial worship with full faith and also greet me with respect, but you have no qualms in pouring the excreta of your toilets and the effluents of your industries. You do not remember that at that time you have addressed me as Mother Ganga. You have so dirtied my companion Jamuna so much that after seeing its pitiable condition in Delhi and Agra, no one can say that this is the same Jamuna flowing along Vrindavan on whose bank the great yogi Krishna had played the divine love spot of Ras. Don't your heart reproach you when you gift your mother by putting on her lap all sorts of rubbish like urine, excreta and other waste? The yogic personality Bhartrihari, elder brother of Emperor Chandragupta Maurya, had made such fanciful imagination about Ganga Ganga tere himagiri shila Baddha padma sanasya Brahma dhyana vyasana vidhina Yoga nindam gatasya किम तैर भाव्यम मम सुदिवसे यत्र ते निर्विशंका कंडुयंते जरठ हरिना स्वांग मंगे मदिये स्वांग मंगे Swang mangi madi Swang mangi madi Do not know when will that day come when lost in meditation trance sitting on the bank of Ganga on one of the peaks of Himalaya, I would not be disturbed even if a deer would scratch my back with its horns. Arastu, master of Sikandar, had asked him to bring the sacred water of Ganga while returning from India. This incident itself can give an indication of the greatness of Ganga water. Now. Will the people of India take the trouble of expressing their commitment to keep Ganga clean? Britishers have demonstrated their commitment by cleaning up river Thames 
are Indians really committed to get the world famous Ganga cleaned up? Whatever be the amount that may have to be spent in getting cleaned rivers Ganga and Yamuna, they cannot remain clean if the practice of throwing sewage water of towns and cities and industrial effluent is not stopped. Just between Haridwar and Kanpur, thousands of litres of polluted water is thrown into Ganga every day through 33 big channels. In the present times, the water of Ganga is neither for drinking and bathing nor for irrigation. Because of harmful substances like arsenic, fluoride, chromium and cadmium, the same water of Ganga which was once thought of as medicinal in nature has now become a source of disease. The presence of such pollutant chemicals in the water of Ganga leads to skin, liver and lung disorders. Passing through five states, Ganga traverses a distance of 2525 kilometers. The main contributor of the pollutant load of Ganga, 70% is the domestic sewage and the next best contributor, 20% is the industrial waste. Currently, the sewage of 100 towns with about 50,000 population is directly thrown into Ganga. In addition to this, thousands of dead bodies are also thrown into Ganga. Now the question is, did God originate Ganga from the Himalayas with the essence of medicinal properties only for us to discharge into it all dirty gutters? The scientists have inferred that Ganga is the only river which has microorganisms that can destroy disease-causing organisms. But because of heavy pollution, the number of such favorable organisms have become negligible. Great role is played by turtles and river dolphins in keeping the water clean. The filth coming into the Ganga through the various gutters has reduced the number of turtles and fishes and because of heavy pollution, the water of Ganga has started turning black. The only solution to keep the waters of Ganga, Yamuna and Gomti clean is to convert the domestic sewage waste and industrial effluents coming through gutters into biogas. The waste carrying water should be allowed to enter into the river only after using it for biogas production in the outer part of the city on all four sites. Liquid fuels like ethanol and methanol can be produced from biogas which can serve as biodiesel. Biodiesel can also be obtained from jetropa, pongam oil tree and cane bagas. How insensible and illogical it is that we pollute our waters by throwing domestic and industrial waste due to our laziness, idleness and economic greed and then spend huge amounts of money to clean them? Just to clean Ganga alone, about 53,320 billion rupees have been spent by 2018 and yet has not become clean. Ganga is sixth amongst the most polluted rivers of the world. Had the people and the government both been more conscious and awake, no doubt there would have been no need for spending so much of money. It is the moral responsibility of the owners of the industries to see that the effluents are not released into rivers without treating them as part of their duty towards the citizens and the country. The practice of putting polluted water 
rich in arsenic etc in bore pits the entire aquifers get polluted as a result many people become victims of liver lung and kidney diseases and meet with untimely death even those residing closer to polluted rivers also suffer from serious diseases by consuming underground water drawn through wells or hand pumps along with the owners of industries the officers of municipal corporations and pollution control boards who shut their eyes by taking bribe are guilty of contributing to increasing pollution and pushing people to untimely death according to the pollution control board of india 5830 million liter polluted water gets thrown into ganga every day out of the 84 sewage treatment plants that are in existence in the 46 cities along ganga 31 of them are not working in the city of delhi alone 323 million gallon sewage wastewater is thrown into yamuna through 17 open canals but why is it happening is it not a living testimony of idleness and indifference towards environment on one side ganga is considered as holy and giver of salvation while on the other side we have no calm in polluting its water with all toxic chemical released by the immersion of idols during festivals the same ganga which is said of as india's lifeline and a symbol of spiritual and cultural dignity in the same river 0.115 million tons of plastic waste is deposited every year the toxic discharge emanating from leather industries is thrown into ganga without ever rendering them non toxic what a dual mindset of mankind the scientific viewpoint is quite clear that there is no great usefulness of bigger dams to generate electricity commissioning of bigger dams not only would inundate many villages and cities but also lead to deposition of silt in course of time affecting the flow of the river and the purity of water a 260 feet high tihri dam asia's biggest was built on the river bhagirathi which no doubt helped store a huge stock of water but it reduced the flow of water in ganga another drawback is the possibility of huge loss of life and property at times of big earthquakes which can bring down even the mightiest of dams in the present scenario building of many smaller dams alone would be meaningful for the purpose of electricity generation because of the indiscriminate denuding of forests and floods soil erosion is causing grave danger as a consequence soil starts getting deposited on the surface of rivers making them shallower shallowing of rivers causes dangerous or monstrous floods and it becomes difficult to even run small boats or steamers the rivers like ganga yamuna saraswati sindhu brahmaputra krishna kaveri and narmada are the eternal wealth of this land of aryans the land of this country supports and nurtures many living beings by being irrigated by the waters of these rivers great civilizations flourished on the banks of these rivers which have bemused the whole world because of our narrow mindedness and idleness we have committed the crime of turning these rivers into dirty channels if we do not make timely atonement for our mistakes the future generations will never be willing to forgive us oh humans is it that rational realization that economic achievement alone is not everything will dawn within you only after cutting all the trees after polluting all the rivers after eating all the fishes in the rivers lakes and oceans and 
after denuding all the mountains remember that the echo of the pitiable cries of the billions of animals that you slaughter just to satisfy the craving of your tongue is preparing the ground for your destruction searching for peace and enjoying the pleasures of money intoxicants and meat you forget that you are sitting at the mouth of a volcano of destruction when your sleep of slumberous ignorance by becoming the conflagration of your crookedness enmity ego and violence would lead to a world war would there be anyone left to write history of the present civilization think over it सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कशि दुख बाग भवे मा कशि दुख बाग भवे मा कशि दुख बाग भवे ओ शांति 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 ही।